In 2004, Mars Express made a surprising detection of methane in the Martian atmosphere. This observation was later confirmed by ground-based telescopes. Further observations from Earth detected plumes of highly concentrated methane. In the atmosphere around Mars, methane is thought to be able to survive for just a few hundred years. The fact that we observe it now means that it must have been produced recently. The source of the methane is unclear. Could it have been produced by recent life or volcanic activity? Or was it produced a long time in the past? Trapped in the ice and then released as the ice melts with the changing seasons? With the help of data from Mars Express, scientists have now found evidence that water existed on the surface of Mars for a sustained period of time and have started to unravel its history. The evidence came from the detection of three minerals that provide a record of water-related processes on Mars. Clay-like minerals, sulfates, and iron oxides. Clay-like minerals formed during exposure to large bodies of water. Once these seas and rivers were lost, water at times would burst out from beneath the surface of Mars and evaporate immediately, creating sulfates in the process. Over time, the remaining underground water became frozen and gradually iron oxides were formed on the surface without liquid water. Like Earth, Mars has polar ice caps, which for some time have been known to consist of a mixture of water ice and carbon dioxide ice. A radar on board Mars Express is actively probing the southern pole and has detected frozen water beneath the surface. This is the first time such an experiment has been carried out on any planet. Mars Express data are building maps of this subsurface ice. It is possible that water may exist below the surface in liquid form, but it could be too deep for the radar on board Mars Express to detect. Detailed Mars Express images have shown features on the Martian surface that if seen on Earth would have been formed by glaciers. The odd thing about these features on Mars, such as those seen at the base of Olympus Mons, is that they are observed at tropical latitudes, regions that in the past would have been too warm for glaciers to exist. It is thought that this could be the result of changes to the tilt of Mars' axis due to its temporal evolution. The tilt of the axis allowed Olympus Mons to be located at latitudes where glaciers did form. Mars Express has provided fundamental discoveries which have greatly improved our understanding of Mars. However, new questions have also been raised as a result of the new data. To answer these questions, further exploration is required by Mars Express as well as future generations of explorers. Very little is known about the internal structure of Mars, whether it has a solid or liquid core, if there is a convection zone as on Earth, and how thick the crust is. New data suggests that Mars has gone through some extreme changes in climate. Why this happened is not understood, and by studying this might help us to further understand the long-term changes in the Earth's climate. No evidence for life on Mars has yet been uncovered. If life did evolve on Mars, it may be that there are just a few places where it has survived. These could be underground. If life did not start on Mars, it would suggest that life is not very easy to start, therefore making life on Earth more remarkable and reducing the chances of finding life elsewhere in the universe. Understanding the extreme environment of Venus could play a key role in understanding the Earth. Venus Express will continue to study this planet and scientists are looking at the possibility of changing the spacecraft's orbit for a better view. The addition of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency or JAXA's mission to Venus will provide a complementary view. And for the first time, two spacecraft will orbit this mysterious planet. Looking further into the future, Mars will continue to be explored in even greater detail with two new missions in the ExoMars program. One mission consists of an orbiter and an entry, descent and landing demonstrator. 
and the other will be comprised of the first European rover to land on the red planet. Ultimately, scientists want to bring a sample of Mars back to Earth to study in detail in laboratories. The exploration of Earth's siblings, Venus and Mars, continues to result in important discoveries. Venus Express and Mars Express are providing the crucial evidence that will aid understanding of the dramatic and subtle events that set these seemingly similar planets on very different paths of evolution. I'm Rebecca Barnes. Thank you for watching the Science at ESA vodcast.